Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbricks here, back for another LEGO video, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most valuable LEGO sets. The data gathered for this video was derived primarily from Bricklink and eBay, representing the approximate value of each LEGO set in its new and unopened condition. Since 1949, LEGO has produced over 14,500 unique LEGO sets, and some of these LEGO sets are worth thousands of dollars to this day. In fact, all the LEGO sets shown in front of you right now are all worth over $1,000 each in a sealed condition and they didn't even make this top 10 they were close but didn't even make it yeah the prices get absolutely ridiculous so be sure to stay tuned for the entire video in order to see all 10 of the most expensive sets if you enjoy today's video please take two seconds to hit the like button down below and finally for the purposes of this video I will not be including exclusive minifigure promos since this video will focus mainly on in entire sets rather than just singular minifigures. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Number 10. This top 10 starts off with a UCS LEGO Star Wars set from 2001. This is Darth Maul, the LEGO bust version of him, retailed for $150 and now is worth $1,900 in a sealed condition. And to be honest, I think this would also fall on the top 10 creepiest LEGO sets as well. I mean, the minifigure of Darth Maul is also, you know, kind of on the creepier side of LEGO minifigures, but I certainly wouldn't want this very expensive LEGO set sitting next to my bed. Now before I reveal number 9, you may want to listen up because I would like to introduce to you today's sponsor who made this entire video possible, Audible. Audible is the largest online provider of audio entertainment, which features thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, and Audible originals that you can listen to. Whether you're on a long car ride or building a brand new LEGO set, Audible offers a vast range of titles to choose from, including LEGO. This even includes a range of LEGO Ninjago audiobooks to listen to. Recently, I personally have been really enjoying listening to Brick by Brick by David Robertson. He describes how LEGO has emerged as the world's number one toy brand, as well as LEGO's path to success. It's been a great way for me to relax and learn more about LEGO, and all this while building some of LEGO's new sets for 2020. If you are looking for more LEGO content or are interested in browsing Audible's practically endless supply of audiobooks, consider trying Audible's completely free 30-day trial. That's right, you can claim your exclusive 30-day free trial by visiting audible.com slash spipricks, which includes one free audiobook of your choice and two Audible originals. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description or go to audible.com slash spipricks. That's audible.com slash s-p-i-t-b-r-i-x. And now here is number nine. For number 9, we're going back to 1984, in which this set, called the King's Castle, was released for LEGO. And if you'd like to obtain this set in its sealed, brand new condition, you're looking to pay around $2,000 for this set. Now, as I was researching for this video, I found it really interesting to see that there are a lot of old sets, but also a lot of new sets that are worth a lot of money that are placed on this list. And so you'll see a large variety of different time periods. This one is one of the oldest sets on this top 10 for today. And of course, at number nine, it is one of the most expensive Lego sets out there at this time. Lego castles were and still are some of the favorite sets for LEGO collectors, and especially since this one is older, there's a lot of nostalgia behind it for older collectors of LEGO, and hence its price has skyrocketed over the years. Number 8. Here is the second LEGO Star Wars set that makes a spot on today's list. This is the LEGO Star Wars UCS Millennium Falcon. The set was originally released in 2007 and has 5,197 pieces. Now, if you're looking to purchase this set for your very own, let me just tell you, you'll need a very large budget. This set is looking at a price point around $2,100, and that's just for, you know, regular shelfware condition on the box. But if you want a pristine condition box, basically no dents in it or anything, you're looking around $4,000 US dollars. Like this one here, you guys can see that the box is a little bit beat up, but as long as it's still sealed, you're looking at around $2,100. But if, you know, it was a very very good condition box, you're looking upwards to 4000 That's a lot of money to pay for a LEGO set. Number 7. 
At number 7, we have a LEGO set that retailed for only 90 US dollars back in 2007. This is the Market Street set, has 1,248 pieces, and nowadays goes for around $2,150. This set itself was inspired by the build of a LEGO fan, and to this day, it stands to be the only LEGO modular building branded under the LEGO factory line or theme, which quite obviously makes this set very unique and very desirable for collectors if they want to complete the modular collection. For LEGO sets, of course, it can hook on to other ones that they may have in their collection, and LEGO modular sets in general are a very large collector's item. You know, a lot of LEGO fans will purchase many of the modular sets, and therefore this one as one of the harder ones to come by, hence the price tag of over $2,000 on this set. Number 6. Up next is the original LEGO Statue of Liberty set. This set came out in 2000 and is set number 3450. As far as price, this set is valued at around 2,400 US dollars and has 2,882 pieces, which basically dwarfs the 2018 model that we recently got of the Statue of Liberty. This is a very, very large build, and you know, it's a very collectible item if you live in the United States and are a very large fan of Lego. Something quite interesting yet peculiar about this set is the box art. It really doesn't resemble any other Lego boxes that we got, but I guess in 2000 this is what the set looked like. They could have definitely turned the box so it was vertical. You could see the Statue of Liberty, the actual build, a lot better. You can see though it's 33 inches tall, so that gives you an interesting metric of its size, but I just thought it was funny that it was a pretty much a horizontal box while the set is practically completely up and down or vertical. Number 5. Up next, we have another retro LEGO set, this one back from 1990. This is the LEGO Airport Shuttle set. Has 767 pieces and nowadays goes for around 2,600 US dollars. This set featured a lot of railway tracks, and in case you didn't already know, basically any LEGO train set usually goes up in value. This one though in particular went up a lot whenever you compare it to its original price point. I mean really any set that's, you know, over $2,000 is pretty ridiculous. But in all honesty, that's the amount of money you'll need to pay if you would like to buy this set for your very own. Number 4. At number 4, we get to see the return of the Jedi with another LEGO Star Wars set. This is the Death Star 2, which was a UCS set from 2005. There are absolutely no minifigures in this set whatsoever just because of the absolute behemoth scale of the Death Star build itself. It's a very intricate build with a lot of light gray pieces as a lot of UCS LEGO Star Wars sets seem to be. So if you like light gray pieces, well I guess you'd have fun with this one. Definitely one of the most challenging LEGO sets to build on this list today that you'll see. But at the same time, it's a very important set and a very influential set to the movies and also a fan favorite. And thus, this set fetches a very high price point of $2,700 US dollars in a new condition or a sealed box state. Honestly, the price of this set is just absolutely ridiculous, and I just want to re-emphasize the fact that this set has absolutely no minifigures whatsoever, which is pretty crazy, and the price just continues to go up year after year for this set. But if you think $2,700 is a lot, well, wait till you see the last three. Number 3. This next LEGO set certainly stands out from the rest. This was a very recent set actually from 2019. There were only 80 of this set made and you could only get it if you were one of the lucky individuals who went on the LEGO Inside Tour for 2019. So with that being said, this set was not sold anywhere. It was basically just exclusive to those who went on the tour in Billen, Denmark. And with that exclusivity factor, this set goes for around 2,800 US dollars right now. But there are signatures. A lot of the sets have signatures on them 
and that just makes the price go absolutely through the roof. I've seen prices go up to $8,000 for this set here, which is just ridiculous. But, you know, not all of them have signatures, thus some of them are a little bit cheaper than others. Just depends on how many signatures the individual was able to obtain on the set box. And like this image you guys can see on the bottom right-hand corner, it's numbered. So if you had number one out of 80, it's worth more as well. Number two. This next set is one you may have never seen before. This is the Maersk line container truck from 1980, so another retro Lego set here. This promotional set was only released in Denmark and of course was part of the Lego and Maersk collaboration or line of sets that they produced. And this one in particular only has 305 pieces, but it goes for a price of upwards of $3,000. Now to give you some more context, even the pre-owned sets, the ones that have been used, they've been built before, and even this one only is 99% complete, which means it's missing at least one piece, are still fetching basically $2,000. And even more intriguing, I found this listing on eBay, there are 33 people watching this listing. So at least 33 people were semi-interested in purchasing it for $2,000 or roughly around there, you know, they could put in a best offer, but still. Now granted, this is a very valuable and expensive Lego set, but it's number two. Number one. The most valuable LEGO set at this time in 2020 is the Piper Airplane set. This was an exclusive given to those who took the LEGO Inside Tour in 2012, and there were only 53 copies of this set produced and given out. Of course, that took place in Denmark, and thus, due to its exclusivity, this set fetches $4,100 on average. And let me tell you that they go for even more if you got it signed. This one in particular on eBay is being sold right now for roughly 10,000 US dollars plus $60 shipping. That is a ton of money. Imagine spending $10,000 on one singular Lego set. Not to mention the fact that the signature on this set in particular more than doubles its value or its worth which is just crazy. However, there are in fact people out there dishing out this much money to purchase these LEGO sets because they mean that much to them or are they that much of a LEGO collector. And honestly, the value of LEGO sets is heavily influenced simply by simple economics, supply and demand, how many of them were produced and the amount of people that really want to purchase that set and obtain it. But nonetheless, this LEGO set takes the number one spot on this list and can proclaim itself the most valuable LEGO set in 2020. If you enjoyed today's video, please let me know with a like rating down below, and I pass the question off to you guys. Would you guys ever pay over $2,000 for a singular LEGO set? Let me know with a comment down below. As always, I'm Spipperix. Check out one of the videos on screen right now for more LEGO content, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.